We were instructed to turn our backs to ground zero. 90-year-old Dick Rosenberg is one of the few people on this planet who can tell this story. How many explosions did you witness? 18. In 1955, Rosenberg was an Army corporal and the personal secretary to Brigadier General Fred Sladen, Jr. This was top secret. This was beyond top secret. The Nevada test site was located several miles outside of Las Vegas. And when the bombs went off, Dick was told to turn around and cover his face. There was this rustling of dirt and all kinds of material on the ground. And then, boom, the detonation exploded. It knocked us off our feet, and we were a mile away. Wow, a mile away. 75 years ago, World War II ended when Japan surrendered after two atomic bombs were dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, killing by some estimates more than 200,000 people. That was not good because all the information that I have gathered confirmed that the war was so much in our favor that there was no necessity to drop the bomb. All these years later, are you healthy? Absolutely. Although, interestingly enough, a couple of years ago, out of the blue, I had bladder cancer. Rosenberg says since then, he's made a full recovery and outlived the love of his life, Jackie, by 36 years. That's my beautiful professional model wife. <laughs> Talk about a bombshell. <laughs> my picture confirms the fact that opposites attract. <laughs> And there he sits, a man with his memories and one incredible story. You can look back on your service with pride and with the knowledge of a job well done. Yes, sir. In the Zevely Zone. Thank you very much. Jeff Zevely. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. News 8.